Hi Virgos, welcome to my channel. How is everybody? Good morning America, good morning world. This is your dailies, the 13th to the 14th. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This pen is the worst. I'm not gonna say who it's from. <laughs> Seriously? All right. Anyhow, let me get my, my coffee over here. Vietnamese coffee is back. We are wired. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. There's alarm beeping off. Maybe you forgot something also. Okay. So try not to forget, Virgo. Maybe you're going to forget something. Just as a reminder, always, okay, always remind yourself, what do I need to do? There you go. And then you remember. Pause and it's like, what do I need to do? There you go. Okay. <laughs> That's the one. That's the pen. Anyhow, let's begin. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Virgos is your 13 to the 14. Let's see. You guys got me. What do you guys got me? Mm -hmm. Let's see here. What do you guys got me? Here we go. Six of Swords. Movement. There is, but it's a challenge because where does it go? Nowhere. I always identify this card where you have been with someone already because that's established. You guys are in the same boat. Okay, it's been established that there is something going on between us. Nobody's talking about it. You guys talk, but nobody's talking about it. Meaning there's a pink elephant, okay? It's a purple or pink elephant, whichever color you like the elephant to be, okay? So that's that. Nobody wants to discuss it. Which look at that. And it's 11.10 here, meaning it's about to be talked soon. 11.11 will come after 11.10. So... That's what it is here with uh, Six of Swords. Let me see here. Other person. Nine of Wands. And every time you bring this topic, because it's so serious, the other person goes on Mars. Defensive. Aggressive. And this is not good though right now. Especially with Mars being on retrograde, I believe in Capricorn, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. That's not good. And of course, I'm talking about Vedic Sidereal, not Western Astrology. Um, so they can, they, for them, it's best for them not right now to respond or you not to respond because this is when someone goes in the attack mode. They have a snap thing. It's like, don't talk to me about it. I totally don't talk about it. Who are you? <laughs> okay. That's, that's how defensive they are and that's how aggressive also the nature of the situation. Okay. It's challenging. It's difficult. I know. Okay. Let me see here. Next to the Six of Swords. Nope. Oh. A death card, Scorpio. Who has even better description than that one? Okay, can be connected with a Scorpio, but regardless, only a Scorpio. <laughs> okay, has that, but it doesn't mean that you have to be a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. It can be even where their Mars is, or where it's conjunct, where it's you know. So don't even bother this the zodiac because you don't know their whole twelve houses. You don't know their all their chart, but this is the snap thing, like a silent. A si well, a silent killer, you know, not uh, hypothetically speaking, of course. It's just like, but there is something about it that this person or you, okay, is very quiet about it. And every time, because this is them, okay, they're just like that. But then snap, okay, all the ones, you know, goes to attack mode. Okay, let me see here. Other person, the full card. Hmm. This is the energy where you see them one, uh, like, you know, kind of like a duality, the full card, because sometimes they're fun and sometimes they're serious. Are they serious then or are they just fun? There's duality in the situation that you're in. It's a very difficult situation. That's why for you, it's like, okay, you know what? I don't want to rock the boat right now because it's really, it's like something is brewing and I don't want to disturb this person or they don't want to disturb you, vice versa. Okay, let's see here. Underneath the Six of Swords. Oh, here we go. The High Priestess. Mm. You know, and you you're not talking about it. There is because High Priestess knows about the situation, but they rather not discuss it. I'm not gonna talk about it, but I know something, and I'm just keeping myself quiet for now. But this is not good uh, because it means if you're keeping yourself quiet about the truth, you're not expressing yourself. That's a challenge right there. Knowing the truth and you can't speak of it. Let me see here. For some, it's almost like someone is blinded over here. Okay. Another person. Page of Cups. Love and sincerity. Childlike energy, of course. That's why they're difficult. They're immature. 
you know how you 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 know like you can correct a kid the right way or a baby or how you approach it depends on how you say it you yell they cry you try to meet them halfway you know it's like you know you know how how you know <laughs> Meghan Markle goes down like Diana did and then you know look I think it was Harry or William you look you meet them eye to eye and then they understand they're more responsive to it so that's how this person you have to treat them like a kid <laughs> Okay, they're a challenge. They're a headache. Okay, sorry, I'm just looking at them because here also you're feeling Virgo. It's like you're praying for them to, if you if they can only change and be mature about how to be in connection with someone. It's not even about relationship. It's about if they can improve connecting with you. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here because they will be so outgoing with the full card. You will see them. It's just like doing fun stuff, and then in reality, it's like. They're guarded in the inside. It's like there's, there's again, there's a surface level to the person that you're connecting with. And it's almost like you kind of know what is inside of them. You got me. All right. So, Virgo, I'm going to continue this reading with the 13 to the 14. Next to this is the snippets. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye. We're going to be defensive. Possible outcome here. Is know how they feel towards you. These are feelings. Wow. Direction, not emotion. Yeah. The star card, there is hope or their happiness because both of you have love okay buddy okay okay so both of you have seven of cups with the nine of cups that's Rahu Ketu okay